Don't you just love the hum of a big transformer? Alright, so um, our battery bank for our magnetizer is all hooked up. It's extremely large. Um, as you can see, compared to the size of my hand. So it's about uh, oh, two foot high by a uh, foot and a half, foot and three quarters square. So that's basically the size of our battery. Each one of them is two volts, all hooked in series to give us 48 volts. Uh, of course, it will be a bit more. Our transformer is ticking away at the moment. We're putting in about uh, 14 amps at uh, 50 odd volts. And if you want to have a look inside, I've taken the lid off. So, um, there's some old school stuff for you. Very robust. So the batteries are charging, they're taking um, quite a good charge at the moment. So um, while they're charging we'll keep on continuing. Uh, window is open to the uh, jungle outside. Door is open to ventilate the shed. I'm going to put a fan in the window there to suck any um, hydrogen gas straight out the window so I don't blow myself up. Because no doubt we're going to get a few sparks and arcs from our uh, relays on the contacts. Uh, we're going to build our little pot core first, um, see if we can magnetise some bolts or something. So um, we're going to use this middle gauge wire uh, that is probably uh, 3 mil by 3 mil, 4 mil by 4 mil, something like that. Um, we're going to straighten all that out, make a couple of ends for this pipe and wrap it around this pipe on a uh, fixture, hook our contacts up, uh, like I said one contact or relay will be for this uh, magnetizer and the other one will be for the big one, but uh, we'll start with the small one first, see how we go. So um, that is my project update so far. The battery bank is in and that was a mission to get in here because um, only had five of the 24 batteries out. The other uh, remaining batteries were still in the steel box, and uh, only me to shift it. And they're about uh, 150 kilos all up. So um, half an hour to drag it six meters. What a good workout first thing in the morning. All right. Um, yeah. So just a project update where we're at. Next one will be um, this completed with our uh, first circuit all up and running and um, we'll see if we can actually magnetise anything with our pop core and um, be a bit of trial and error with the um, on time for our relays so we only want very short bursts I'm not sure how short and clean we can get it with relays but uh, we will soon find out. Alright guys, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next video. Thought I'd tack this on the end. Um, these batteries were sitting for about five years um, dead in the machines um, at the place where I got them from. And uh, when I brought them home, there was uh, no liquid in the battery, so we topped them all up with um, our battery acid. And at the moment, 52.3 volts in them and our charger is now putting in 20 amps so um, those batteries are taking 1.4 kilowatts at the moment which is a good indication that they're still very healthy and um, looking down inside our filler caps not that you'll be able to see with the camera oh you can um, the water is very clean the plates look pretty good so um, that was quite a score I wouldn't like to guess as to how much a battery bank this size would cost but I could tell you it um, would not be cheap so um, I actually have two of these electric carts that were given to me so I've got two of these battery banks 
the other batteries I haven't looked into in the other cart yet so um, I'm going to do that and see if they are salvageable as well but um, yeah at the moment we have 52.3 volts it's been sitting at that voltage for about 15 minutes now and um, it's taken 20 amps just over so uh, yeah 1.4 kilowatts that charge is putting out at the moment which is pretty good um, believe it or not this is actually the small one I do have uh, the larger unit over in the corner which will do 45 amps at 48 volts so, but um, for now this one will do it's a lot smaller the other one is about twice the size of that and will not fit on the bench and um, I think uh, 1.4 kilowatts going into those batteries is quite enough all right um, on with our project, see you next video where we'll have our, um, hopefully have our pot coil made up and wound and um, we'll have a look at uh, how we're going with the timing, on timing of the switching of this uh, system. Alright guys, have a good day and uh, cheers for now.